Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today and happy Valentine's Day to all of you that are watching this. And um, yeah, I'm really sorry I'm late on this video. I've been busy as always. I know I always have an excuse, but it's for real though. My family's here visiting and I've been trying to spend as much time with them as possible in between work and trying to film and take pictures and stuff all over Lima so I'm very very sorry I'm so behind on my videos I will try to make this up to you guys as soon as possible so please bear with me have a little more patience please and I'm really sorry so let's get this video started so today we're going to talk about the top six districts where most tourists tend to stay when they come to Lima uh, the first district we're going to talk about is Barranco. Barranco is known for its bohemian atmosphere, it's very romantic and it has an excellent nightlife. It is full of peñas criollas, which are like restaurants where you can have typical Peruvian Creole food and listen to typical Peruvian Creole music. Um, so people love going to peñas there. If you look at this picture of this church, if you were to go to the right of the church, then you would find this little street, which I believe is called El Boulevard de Barranco, or the Boulevard in Barranco. This is where you can find a lot of affordable bars and clubs, and they play all kinds of music there. These are some pictures of the main square in Barranco. And now this is a picture of me going down towards the Puente de Suspiros. If you were to translate that literally, then it would be the Bridge of Sighs, but the Bridge of Sighs doesn't sound sexy at all, so we're just gonna call it El Puente de Suspiros. So in this general area where the bridge is, you will find a few very nice bars and restaurants. They're a little more expensive than the other side that I just told you about. And if you were to go under the bridge, then you would walk along the Bajada de los Baños. This is the route that fishermen in the past once took to go to work and they made it into a little path for the pedestrians to walk on so we could go to the beaches. And in the evenings you can find beautiful, beautiful sunset here. So the next district I'm going to tell you guys about is Miraflores. Miraflores is really popular among tourists. It's one of the wealthiest uh, districts here in Lima and you can find a boatload of hotels, hostels, casinos, restaurants, bars, and clubs in Miraflores. Miraflores is pretty safe, you know, you gotta always be careful anywhere you go. And you, we even have tourist police in Miraflores. They wear white shirts with green pants. The typical police uniform is like a brown, beige colored shirt, I guess, with green pants but they wear white ones. And Miraflores is also home to some of the more expensive private schools such as Markham, San Silvestre School, or Colegio Peruano Aleman, Alexander von Humboldt. When you see a roundabout in Peru, we refer to those as Ovalos, and this is the Ovalo de Miraflores, where you can see uh, McDonald's, Saga Falabella, which is a Chilean department store, and some other restaurants and shops. This is the famous Parque Central in Miraflores and it's actually divided into two parks. The first park is Parque Siete de Junio or, and the second park is Parque Kennedy. It's named after John F. Kennedy. And you can find a gazillion cats in these parks. They live in the park. You can see them sleeping on the trees and people give them food and stuff. They're up for adoption as well. So you can just take one whenever you want, I guess. One of the places you should definitely go to is Larcomar, which is this shopping center mall type thing on the coast, it's on the cliff, and it's very nice. You can find a lot of really nice high-end restaurants or affordable restaurants such as Chili's, TGI Fridays. From Larcomar you can see the coasts from the districts of Miraflores, Barranco, and Chorrillos. And you can also see the famous restaurant that's on this pier type thing. And people like going there, especially at sunset. And it's very beautiful, but it's a little expensive. They have international food there. So in Peru, the area that you can walk along the coast, in English, I guess the word would be Esplanade, but that area in Spanish here in Peru is called a malecón. And 
Miraflores is famous for its malecón because you can find tons and tons of parks there. So this is a picture of Love Park and right next to it is the area where you can go paragliding. I believe it's about $50 to go paragliding. The next district I'm going to tell you guys about is San Isidro. San Isidro is considered the major financial center of Lima because over 21 banks have their headquarters there and a lot of major insurance companies also have their headquarters there. You can find over 30 embassies in San Isidro. You can find plenty of five-star hotels in San Isidro and high-end restaurants. So although you can find a lot of business buildings in San Isidro, it does have its residential area and the, the homes are very nice. And San Isidro is very famous as well for El Bosque del Olivar, which is this park that has trees that are over 400 years old. It's a very nice place and it's actually the place where I come to record. It has a little pond thing here. The next district I'm going to tell you guys about is Surquillo. Surquillo is an up-and-coming district and it's actually kind of like for middle class kind of people, maybe lower middle class in some areas but it's, it's been changing a lot. I think in the last four and a half years I've been here, there have been significant changes. And this is a picture of Angamos Open Plaza, which is a mall that they constructed a few years ago. It's home to the Instituto de Enfermedades Neoplásicas, which is like our national cancer hospital. One of the major streets in Surquillo is Angamos, and along Angamos you can find cheap restaurants and sandwich places as well. Along Angamos, you can find two of the major markets there, El Mercado Número Uno and Mar Mercado Número Dos de Surquillo. The next district I'm gonna tell you guys about is San Borja. San Borja is a very residential district. Two of the main avenues in San Borja are Avenida Javier Prado, and that's where you can find the National Library, the National Theater, and a museum as well. I can't remember the name right now because it's changed its name recently. They also just built uh, a couple years ago a mall called La Rambla. It's on Javier Prado. And the other main avenue is Aviación. And along Aviación, you can see the tren eléctrico, or the electric train. It's called the Metro de Lima. And this is actually a project that ex-president Alan Garcia started back in his first term in the 80s but he only finished in the 2000s when he was re-elected. And all along Aviación you will find tons of casinos and restaurants. You can find some really nice high-end restaurants or some really affordable ones as well. So San Borja is um, for middle class or upper middle class and it's famous for its Pentagonito, which is this big um, park area where people can go rollerblading or they can ride their bikes or go running. Then we have Surco. Surco is also for middle class or even for really rich people because um, some ex-presidents and celebrities live there. But Surco is famous for its Caminos del Inca shopping center. Um, they've renovated it so it looks really, really nice now. And there's also El Parque de la Amistad or Friendship Par Park. There are a lot of major private schools in Surco as well and a lot of major universities such as La Universidad de Lima, La Universidad Peruana de Ciencias Aplicadas or UPC for short, La Universidad Ricardo Palma. We also have Jockey Plaza which is a mall that they have there and Surco is also famous for its um, Hipódromo and Jockey Club which is a racetrack and a horse racing club all right guys so once again I'm really really sorry I'm so late on my videos it really does take a lot of work to edit these things at least for me it does because I just don't I'm not good with computers and technology and it takes a lot of time to go out and record these things and to take pictures and edit them so I'm really sorry I'm behind and I know I shouldn't give you guys excuses but I'm gonna try my best to catch up and to give you guys the videos that I've promised you and thank you so much for watching once again. And if you like this video and you enjoy the information that I share with you, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch these videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye. to make up to you guys stupid car Lima
birds. Please, I like you, but you're making too much noise here. I'm trying to record. <sighs> and I got a man looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, why is that girl talking to the bird? And why is she talking to herself? Mm. Anyway, I miss Mio. I can't record with you around here. Okay, go away. Barranco is very famous for God dang it, bird. <laughs> They do it on purpose, I swear. It was quiet for two minutes, and then he came back. All right, give me an atmosphere. It's romanticness. I don't know. <laughs> That's a word I invented. The first district is Barranco. I hear my mouth. Tre Markham and the birds, the parrots actually, the beautiful green parrots decided to just fly over my head right now. All right, you will find a couple of department stores. Oh my God, Paris, what is going on? Pictures of Miraflores. When you see a roundabout in Peru, 